Hi, Kaisa. How are you doing? Hi, Fungai. I'm fantastic. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, we just missed one of your sets already. How so you, you got to catch up the next one, right? Okay. Starting soon. Okay. Uh, Kaisa, um, where did you start music? Oh boy, in my mom's womb. <laughs> oh really? That was beautiful. Listen, you know, I'm blessed. I come from a very uh, artistically rich country, Cameroon, and I grew up listening to a lot of music, uh, left and right, all the time. And uh, and uh, blessed enough to have uh, two brothers who are bass players. But oh. you know how it is back home. Right. Music is just part of life. So, but really professionally, I started in Paris about 20. Five years ago, oh, okay. If, um, and I was really lucky to work with people like Salif Keita and wow. Papa Wimba, Manu Dibango, and Cesare Evora. Oh, the and, late, uh, yeah. Yes, the late, wonderful Cesare Evora. And uh, now here in New York with my band and performing around wherever music takes me. <laughs> Oh, that was a great show. Hey, thank, thank you. you. So much. Right. Wow, I see you paid tribute to Mama Makeba. Absolutely. She's one of those African great legends. Absolutely. There. She was an inspiration, a role model, and she paved the way for so many of us. So I'd never get on stage without saying thank you to these people who that's, inspired me. Wow, that's so beautiful. Uh, we were just talking about um, si Paul Simon gig oh, that yes. you were doing yes. with him. Yeah. So this was in 2008. It was a retrospective of his career. And he had invited big names like the Roaches, Josh Groban, wow. uh, uh, who else was there, uh, David Byrne. And, and then I got this phone call and I was really amazed. I couldn't believe that he was actually directly calling me. So yes, Paul Simon at uh, BAM, you know, retrospective on his career and that was absolutely amazing, I think. His songs, lead, I oh, thought I would be wow. doing backing vocals, but wow. he invited me to sing his song, so that was a great honor. That was an honor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I know you've released an album 2004 and then also another one 2010. Yes, I took Ten. my time, you know. Right. It's like, uh, it's like uh, you know, carrying a baby and right. I don't force songs out, so uh, it took the time it took. People, some of my friends were complaining and saying, ah, when is the second album coming up? It came out when it, it came out. And, uh, you know, it's a labor of love. True. And, uh, and I do express everything, you know, in my songs. It goes from personal uh, uh, struggle and, and, and achievements to, uh, to much more and, and, and subject that touch different, uh, you know, aspects of life, uh, women's rights and more. Right. Now, you've, I've seen your name under the Putumayo label because you've collaborated, I think the albums were a collaboration of African female musicians mm -hmm. and Seria, uh, uh, the late Seria was there, Yes. Dorothy Masuku, you know, and you were featured. Yes, absolutely. And yes, Putumayo has been doing really a great work and, uh, and I've been lucky enough to be on five or six compilations. I've been right, right. Women of Africa, Women of the World and, and much more. And it's been a great way you know, to reach out to people who have never, could have never heard about right. my music, actually. So true, true. Expose that Do you have a special people. name for your music? You know, I'm working on that. I'm right. sick. Let me tell you, I don't want to hear world music anymore. Right. I think this is quite a silly it's world. It's and a blanket uh, people throw. And, and, say. and I think I'm going to take charge now and, and decide how it will be called. Because I heard all kinds of things, right? Just like Afro jazz. And right. I don't think there's any jazz into my music. But, you know, that's how 
people feel like the need to label it. I don't really feel the need to do so, but I think I will, you know, right. just to define it more okay. uh, to, to people. Because to call all of this music African, African music, music or world music, I think it's very it's, it's not demeaning. True. and Right. Now, one more thing. Um, you are almost like a resident for Zinc Bar. Yeah. I remember the last year I saw you here when you launched your album, your second yeah. album. Uh, yes. So yeah. when can people see you? People can see me at Zinc every month, mm -hmm. every second Friday of the month. Right. So today is March 9th, March 10th actually. So the next one will be April the 13th. Come over, Zinc Bar 82 West 3rd Street and uh, here and a couple of new places also where I will be performing and uh, I will keep everyone posted on my website right. www.kaisa.com How do people get your music, your albums? So they can go to my website and, and buy them right there or go to cdbaby.com and get my first album Looking There and the second one I'm so happy <laughs> The world is a little flower.